All right, Gottlieb agree that Kevin Durant's season should already be viewed as a wonderful success. No. <laughs> no. I mean, it's, it's not finals or bust, it's championship or bust. He, and he's trying to sell us guys on this uh, wholesale of, hey, I found my zen, I found my happy place, I enjoy <laughs> going to work, which is important. Hey, but talking about what his life is going to be like if and when he wins a championship when he hasn't won a championship is like me talking with these guys about what it must have been like to play in the NBA when I never made the NBA, right? <laughs> right. Don't, don't, don't tell me about how it won't change your life mm. if it hasn't gotten an opportunity to happen just yet. Um, I, look, I don't think he has to win a championship to deem his season a success, but to not have actually seen the finals play out, to see how he reacts to his newfound role of being a rebounder, being a shot blocker, having to guard LeBron in big spots, how he competes in the biggest of games. Remember last year at home when they had a chance to eliminate the Warriors game six, he played one of his worst big games in his career. So I don't think that the season is a disappointment. I don't think it's a success because it's not finished yet, but I'm also not buying this whole idea of I'm good whether we win a championship or don't win yeah, a championship. Yeah, I, I think he has to win the finals. And I, and I think it's different if he didn't leave. If you stay in Oklahoma City and you give it a valiant effort and you lose to the Warriors and LeBron, people say, heck of a career. Maybe you win one, you do a Dirk Nowitzki. People are like, all-time top 50 player. But when you go to the new law firm, you're going to be partner. Okay, he's going to be partner. He's going to be crown. He's going for the bonus. Uh, this is all different. Or he could be Carl Malone. Because Carl Malone is terrific. 14-time All-Star, two-time MVP, top 50 player. But we never talk about Carl Malone. Okay, Charles Barkley, if he wasn't really funny, we wouldn't talk about Charles Barkley. The difference is to be a legend, and this is why he's going there to get to the top. If he wanted to win, he didn't have to leave. To be successful, you have to win, number one. And if he does not win this year in these finals, it's not a success. You can't deem his season already success. Like you said, it's the reason why he went to Golden State was to get over the hump to win a championship. Otherwise, stay in Oklahoma City. You had them beat anyway 3-1. But you, feel, you felt that you didn't have the team and enough to get it done right. to win that championship. You were already going. So to, you didn't jump ship. You were, and going, you let, you were already going right, deep exactly. into the but, 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 Carlos, but you help me out with this. We, we do think that this is, there's a de definitive statement, whatever happens in these finals. LeBron failed in his first run with the Miami Heat. That wasn't the end of the story. The first year is still hard because even this year, he was hurt, and then Steph started to really play well. Mm -hmm. And only now in the playoffs have they both played well at the same time. So as much as we'd like to say if they lose, the season may be a failure, but the experiment still may be undetermined as to whether or not it fails or succeeds, much like LeBron in Miami. I disagree. I think he has to win. He could have saved this Oklahoma City, got beat by Golden State, or whatever, and been in the same place he's in right now. He has to win. He came to Golden State to win the championship, to be a champion, to get to that mountaintop that Colin talked about. So at the end of the day, if he goes and loses to LeBron and the Cavs, he, ha he has a chink in his armor, in my opinion. Like, he's not as great as he's supposed to be, especially with a team that already won it by themselves without him even being there two years ago. Listen, how much heat did LeBron get losing in Dallas? A lot. He was destroyed. A lot. But it, was, but it wasn't just that he lost. It was the fact that he wasn't ready for that spotlight, that he didn't perform Are as we well as sure he... Are sure Durant is? No, I'm not sure he is. We're, we're not, but what I'm saying is, this is, it's really important, the context of it is, let's see how he plays before we determine that he's the reason that they came up short, right? Like, if Clay Thompson doesn't play well and Steph doesn't play well and they attack Steph the way they did last year, are we still going to say that he didn't play well in the finals? Let, let's, let's let it play out I don't out think that's what we're saying. We're saying is the season success, is uh, a success if they win it or not. And remember, you talk about LeBron in that, in that first year of losing it. He didn't have an all-NBA player. He didn't have two all-NBA players on his team, a defensive player of the year, and another all-star. He had two other all-NBA players, and that was it. This guy has three guys that he could lean on. And first off, he's seven foot. He's going to get his own shot. So mm -hmm. he's always going to look good and, do, and have his numbers. But now, is he going to get over the hump? Is the team going to get over the hump? That was the reason why he went to Golden State. Are they going to do it? If they do it, then it's a success. If they don't, it's a failure, not the experiment. And the culture of basketball is unfair. In baseball, it doesn't matter. Barry Bonds, all-time great. We don't judge on titles. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how many Derek Jeter won. A couple. But in, in football, you, I don't know how... You could take the greatest left tackles of all time. Anthony Munoz, John Hanna. I don't know how many titles they won. Listen, this is the way it is. Since Jordan played...
Like, we judge you on titles. It's the same with quarterback in the NFL. I mean, that, that's, there's the kind of the parallel. I, I look, I... Look, we're all kind of in agreement here that it's not a success yet. He's got to win big. He's got he's to win. I would just also caution people, though, on the idea that he has to win this year. Remember, yes, he doesn't have the surround... He didn't have the... Jordan... Uh, excuse me. LeBron didn't have the supporting cast the first time he was going to the finals. He also went against the Mavericks, who didn't... That wasn't a great Mavericks team. They didn't even have Karan Butler. Dirk. J. Kidd. But it, was, it wasn't J. Kidd prime. It was J. Kidd post-prime. They didn't have Karan Butler, who might have been their third best player. Durant, J. Kidd post-prime is better than a lot of guys in their prime. But is that, is that better than LeBron, Kyrie, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson coming off a championship? No, Listen, they, we, all, are a better we team. all know if they lose, mm -hmm. not just us in the media, not just fans, the owners of the Warriors are going to be saying, should we have done this? Yeah, no. I mean, the owners of the Warriors.